Hello my beloved shisha lovers. Today we are going to speak. I even don't know about what. Maybe oh I have a shisha here and you always was seeing it. So we will speak about El Bomber Circan. Lay go! So first, Shisha. Why I have El Bomber Circan in all my videos? They are not paying me anything, but uh, I just like this one. Uh, we will take it out of the glass because the glass is not from El Bomber, so we are not interested in it, and the glass is not going uh, with it. So how I bought it? Uh, I really needed like a small Shisha. Uh, which I could take anywhere because uh, I moved from Russia to Norway now and probably I will go to the Sweden next semester and I'm moving a lot so I need kind of small shisha. Uh, I had a choice between El Bomber and few other small shishas. I didn't really want like a stick, I just want really good one. Uh, if you don't know the El Bomber, they really uh, like to make uh, racing uh, design shishas and you can see pictures here. Also, they have like a few other products. So they have uh, kind of uh, how you speak in English. I forgot how to speak English sometimes. Uh, yeah, uh, they have a lot of stuff. They have uh, this, this, this. Also, they have on this glass. Uh, they have kind of their bomb uh, bowls. Uh, honestly, a lot because they work in uh, Yekap. It's another company which also makes shishas and they can work together but the bomber makes something in my opinion more authentic they have a really cool uh racing uh team and they made few shishas like this uh however today we, and also the one shisha which i really like they have two shishas in japanese uh, thematic one is circan which is small and another one is katana which is like crazy big like if you see pictures it will be like this like so it's like from here from okay let's say from here like this so it's really big uh, <laughs> shisha which I can see only like as a part of interior or in some shisha base because like really looks like a katana it's really fun so uh, I chose El Bomber Circan because I can and because uh, I kind of like uh, the concept how they're doing shishas and I like that it's really small and they have this um, let's see oh and I have this kind of uh, yeah, and I have the kind of uh, blade with it, so it's pretty comfortable. However, uh, there are also minuses. Let's start and speak what it's made from. It's made from stainless steel. If you go to on their website, uh, you will even found what kind of stainless steel they using stainless stainless steel A I S I three O four. I don't have no idea what does it mean, but uh, it's pretty good and it <laughs> doesn't work bad. Uh, speaking about the craving, uh, it's pretty tight, uh, so it's more like a classic one. However, they have a diffusor which you can uh, just put here and it will be a little bit easier. I usually smoke with it because uh, it gives some extra centimeters and I can put less water. I don't know why, but I know I just like to use the diffusor honestly on this uh, shisha. So, stainless steel, pretty cool design which you saw, and I really like this stuff. <laughs> and if you see, there is also uh, some uh, naming inside, and it says smoke in the sky, which is also great. Uh, so, what I can tell more. I will, how I told you in the video how to choose hookah, the link will be somewhere here. Uh, it's design price and stainless steel. I bought it in, on the festival, so it cost me much less. Uh, now it costs around 100, 150 US dollars if you're buying it like in Russia and ordering it. Delivery would cost maybe some money, but I don't know. So uh, from pluses, that's, I would say all, because like good design, uh, it has a plate, uh, it's pretty small, stainless steel works great and like, I don't know, that's all the pluses of any kind of shisha. I really love this uh, hookah and I use it like on the everyday purpose. Uh, and minuses. In my opinion, the main minus is it's in the plate. It's great that they made it because the shisha itself is really, really small. However, uh, it has a lot of minuses. First, small cruise here, which you can see. 
it's like really easy to take out and it happens sometimes when I'm uh, not working but uh, when I'm cleaning it and it's not really comfortable and second the most important issue if you can see and I hope you can see there is like uh, a line here and this line was made because every time when you want to clean it you make like this and it's making this line and if you have it like kind of syrup, uh, syrup so it's also will be harder to move it but you need to move it like to put this part out and like that's that, that's the problem and also this happens uh, also on this part because when you're taking uh, when you're taking this cone uh, out uh, probably yeah and there is a kind of melas here it's a bit hard to take it off so you need like to a little bit move the plate and that's the problem that's uh, the biggest problem i think in design of this hookah because uh, these lines are not they doesn't they don't look really cool and the plate is the biggest minus and probably the plate maybe the only part of the shisha which i'm going uh, to change because now it's like it's kind of already let's say exhausted it's tired so uh let's going back i'm going to like to roll it fast to make it fast in one piece so what it was going uh, when i bought it basically all you what you see in my hands uh, was inside of the box and also one of them and also one of the holes yeah that's all what they are getting for 120 us dollars 100 even now depends <laughs> uh, where you're buying it from uh yeah so the plus is stainless steel in my opinion really cool design and i really like uh, el bomber itself uh also the plus for me that Hookah craving it's uh, more like a classic it's uh, kind of strong I mean like it's not so easy uh, okay so uh, just imagine you're smoking on alpha hookah and the hookah craving there it's really easy and if you if you're smoking on old star bus or Halima moon and the hookah craving there it's hard that's what I'm trying to say so on this one it will be kind of in the medium but uh, near to the old and classic uh, crave yeah uh, that's all what I wanted to say about my personal and favorite now <laughs> because I have one more but I'll going to tell you about it in the next video yeah uh, that's all what I'm going to tell you about the bomber Sirken and I really like the company itself uh, the guys doing great job and I would love to maybe to work with them sometime and if you want to have a review on any kind of product or you want your product to be in our videos Write me in direct in the Instagram or write Justin write in the comments. Hey, yeah, and don't forget to write in the comments your favorite shisha. And don't forget to check the description for my other social media channels, for my friend who is editing and coloring, because uh, maybe you want to make a video and he will help you uh, with it. And don't forget to check my uh, YouTube channel with shorts, hookah donut shorts. And have a nice day, have a great shisha, and bye.